How's it going? Welcome back, my beautiful sinners, to another great video here on The Savior Show. That's right, get excited and get pumped up. Grab your big PP or small PP. I'm not prejudiced, okay? I accept all PPs, whatever size you have. Just grab onto it because, guys, you're gonna need the protection. You're gonna need the satisfaction. You're gonna need the comfort for this video because what I'm talking about today is a little bit scary and hopefully. It will make you think a little, because guys, today I'm going to be talking about Boston Dynamics. This is the second video I've made on Boston Dynamics. Now, the first one, I was very happy that people actually responded well, and it got seen, it had, you know, quite a pretty decent amount of views, and I was happy with that, not because I'm a, you know, a narcissistic YouTuber who chases numbers. No, of course not, no, because guys, that was an important message for me to spread, and I feel like people who look at Boston Dynamics don't really actually question them. They don't question their motives. They just think, wow, what amazing technology. What crazy times we live in. And look, it does a funny little walk. Now, guys, recently they released the Spot commercial. And, of course, it's very upbeat. And, you know, it's got that progressive, happy, family-friendly music. And it makes it look like a toy you might just buy off Amazon. You know, because Amazon, you can buy anything off Amazon now. I love Amazon. Guys, don't you love Amazon? Amazon's amazing. Anyway, guys, you know, it was all very commercial-friendly. All tried to make it all seem very harmless. Now, if you attached, a, you know, an M14 machine gun onto the top of Spot's head and then the same commercial played, I think people would feel a little bit different. But no, guys, of course people don't think like that because why wouldn't we trust a corporation? Why wouldn't we trust a robotic company that is, no question, designing robots for the military? That's, you know, on the record, just saying. You know, they are designing these robots for the military. Perhaps not all of them, but definitely some of them, and that is 100% a fact, okay? So guys, today, that's what I'm going to be talking about in this video, is Boston Dynamics and the use with military, okay? Last time, I just talked about Boston Dynamics, and, you know, everyone just kind of sees them as a fun little goof, a fun little meme. Look at that robot. Look how they push around a box and it chases after it. How hilarious, guys. What funny times we live in. You know, I'm just being honest, guys. A lot of People on the internet are brain dead morons, okay? You know, they spend most of their time watching cat, you know, cat videos or watching some kind of reality TV garbage, okay? They don't question anything, okay? No one is shocked. Everyone is conditioned. Everyone is just, you know, in a, in a bliss state right now, even with these crazy times going on. You know, everyone just blindly follows any rule that the government throws out, anything that, you know, terms and conditions apply, you know. No one questions things. No one really thinks anymore because we live in a constant state of information, a constant state of being, you know, conditioned, being brainwashed 24 7 i'm not exactly being brainwashed now i may sound like a little bit of a crazy man but what i'm saying is ha, look it just slipped over on some bananas isn't that funny guys <laughs> okay sorry guys okay in all seriousness what i'm saying is people are just in you know a state of ignorance is what i'm trying to say because we are constantly being entertained you know People can't go two seconds anymore without looking at their cyborg watches or cyborg implants, you know, smartphones, whatever. You know, it's become socially accepted now at a dinner table when everyone's just looking at their phones. Now, if someone does that when I'm trying to have a romantic dinner or something, I will slap that bitch's phone out of her fucking hands so fast that she's gonna go and crawl back to social services where she came from. Okay, guys? <laughs> Okay, uh, okay, sorry, sorry. In all seriousness, let's talk about Boston Dynamics. So, guys, obviously what I'm saying is people aren't quite awake and aren't quite taking notice of problems that could happen. I'm not saying that they are going to happen, guys. I'm just making questions. I'm just asking questions. I'm just thinking of the future because we are living in a world of technology filled constantly you know, being given to us, you know, every day something new comes out. Every day people want something new. 
you know, it just doesn't make sense to me. But hey, that's the world we live in. Now, with robotics, they are getting more and more advanced, obviously. Now, AI is the dangerous one, but these, I'm not really concerned about AI. Yes, they're dangerous, and yes, you know, they're scary looking, but they're all, you know, kind of functioning with a human input, okay? So it's not really that dangerous. But the problem is, okay, is when they're gonna get sold to the military. Because, I mean, they are fully functioning now, you know, fully working. They can do parkour even better than these videos I'm showing you right now, um, you know. So, all we need to worry about is obviously the military using them, how they're going to use them, how they're going to monitor the population, if they're going to use robotics in the future to monitor us, like drones for example, that's already a concern. Um, but what happens if these robots, okay, become like I said before, are policemen, okay, or whatever, if they become, you know, implemented within government society, where they are basically, you know, just monitoring the streets, or just having a daily jog through the park, you know, and what we really need to worry about is when they get to the state of basically being manufactured, you know, at a high volume, because when there's tons of these, that's when it's a problem. At the moment, they're very expensive to make. But, you know, just look at the crazy shit I can do. Isn't that fucking crazy? Yes, it's goddamn bizarre. It's goddamn amazing. But, guys, like I said, we are in a world of sensationalism, okay? And no one gets shocked anymore. No one gets surprised that we are living in a future dystopian world. And, I, guys, I'm just trying to warn you about these future dystopian technologies that are basically ruining society and will basically be the death of humanity. Now that's just my opinion, but I believe that is the case. How is the military going to use these robots is what I'm thinking, and maybe that's what you're thinking as well. Well guys, it's my opinion that, you know, these will be controlled from a distance, okay? From a distance. Basically, you know, maybe we already have seen that now you can control a robot through VR, that's a real thing by the way, uh, you know, basically you can basically enter a robot's body through a different perception of reality. Now, if that's not crazy, I don't know what is, but that's a real thing and it's possible now. So, guys, it's my thought that in the future, when these robots are used for, you know, assassinations or whatever, um, basically it will be controlled by a human in a VR simulation or they will just control it like they do with drones now, um, you know. I pray to God that it, they won't use some kind of AI algorithm so they just go around doing this themselves because, you know, how can we trust whatever code that they're manufactured with? You know, we don't know how they're going to distinguish enemies from, you know, allies and all that stuff. So guys, it just really concerns me that these are going to be used pretty soon for military purposes and then if they get widely distributed, uh, you know, you can just use them for just society in general, just for, like I said, the police or whatever, okay? And what's even more scary is if you can just buy yourself a spot, you know, and like companies who, you know, want to buy and purchase these robots for, you know, labor work, like construction or whatever, okay guys? What if someone modifies this robot, like a spot for example, and does attach some kind of weapon onto it or whatever? You know, it could be very dangerous is all I'm saying and I'm not saying that Boston Dynamics are an evil company I'm just saying we need to think about how these technologies can be used in both good and bad ways but mostly bad and these robots aren't even the worst okay because you know these are just tools so far they're not actually they're still being programmed by humans they're still being controlled by humans what we really need to worry about is machines that can think and do stuff and learn from you know different processes themselves that's the scary thing and you know the technology that basically manufactures and designs humans to think in a certain way or act in a certain way like you know social networks and social technologies all that stuff is far more scarier and you know VR AR all that good stuff you know, things that will actually alter your perception of reality and everything. So guys, these are just my thoughts on Boston Dynamics and how they can be used in a military application and how they might use it in the future. And I just think it's an interesting video to talk about. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. 
Please don't be too terrified, these are just questions I'm asking, okay? And have yourself a blessed day, make sure to subscribe and like and all that good stuff, and I'll see you when the machines have taken over. Peace.